Hey there, welcome to another edition of What's Cooking with Captain Ron. Today, got something special in store for you. Do something a little different, a little out of my wheelhouse, but we're gonna try it out. Got this beautiful piece of elk rack from Meat and Bone. We're gonna try this thing out. We're gonna make an herb butter, smother it, let it sit for a couple hours so those you know, flavors can really penetrate into the meat, and we're gonna cook it on the big green egg. I'll show you how to do it. All right, so to make our herb butter, we're gonna start with basically a stick of butter. We're gonna add minced garlic, some chopped parsley, a little bit of salt, not too much because the butter already has salt in it. For a little spice, some red pepper flakes, a bunch of fresh chopped thyme, because we have the thyme, and fresh rosemary right out of my garden. Okay, so we're gonna do that, just squish it all around, make a nice compound. You wanna get it all mixed in good, okay? You want it all mixed up. You want to get that flavors distributed evenly through it. I know it looks gross, but when it's done, it should look like that. Okay, we've got our beautiful herb butter. So we're going to take this gorgeous piece of meat, and we're going to smear some of it on it and coat it real good. I'm going to put a nice thick coating on there. So like I said, we're going to let this sit. Elk does not have a lot of fat in it naturally, so what you want to do is you want to put some fat into the cook. Uh, give it a little bit of make it a little bit leaner make it a little bit uh, more tender okay so the longer this sits it allows all these spices and the, the butters in it not only that when it cooks it's going to baste itself real nicely so i'm going to flip it over and do the other side show you what we got Would you just look at that buttery, elky goodness? Woo! All right, so we've got it loaded up with charcoal. We're gonna put one of these big green egg speedy lighters in here. Get our charcoal going. Charcoal's burning pretty good. So we're gonna put in our convector. Set our vents. Okay, so we got the egg chugging along at 225 degrees. We got our beautiful rack of elk here, all seasoned up, ready to go. We got a pan full of vegetables. We're gonna put the vegetables in there. We're gonna put the elk over the vegetables so that all that beautiful garlic butter and everything's gonna drip down into veggies, cook them, and let's go. Okay, so with this, we're gonna to wanna to add some cherry wood to here. So we've had this fire going. So we're gonna take out the expander and take our cherry chunks, set them right up into the fire here. Spread them around nicely, okay. Put this back in. Back up in. Look at those beautiful veggies. Put them on there. We're going to put our, land, our elk right over it. And we're going to let this go until it hits 125 degrees internal. We're going to take it off and we're going to re reverse sear it. So let's let it sleep. Look at how beautiful that is. Those herbs and that butter just soaking into that beautiful elk roast. Oh, I can't wait. All right, so our elk roast has hit 130 degrees. We're gonna take it off, we're gonna get ready to reverse sear it. So let's pull this baby off. Oh, look at that. Is that gorgeous or what? I set this over here. Let's give our veggies a little stir. Oh yeah, they're looking good too, huh? They need a little more time. We're gonna crank the heat up on these babies. We've got the mini max going at 500 degrees. We're gonna get this baby ready for reverse searing after it sits for about 10 minutes so all the juices can redistribute on it. Hold on. Okay, we are ready for searing now. I got the mini max going here at about 500 degrees, nice and hot. So we're just gonna take our roast, set it right on there. Don't you just love that sound? I could listen to that sizzle all day long. And now, time for the flip. Now look at that. Isn't that just a beautiful sear? That's gonna be mighty flavorful. Okay, now we're ready for the fun part, the carving. Let's see how this baby turned out. Take it here. You wanna slice down right between the bones. Good, 
Beautiful, medium rare, gorgeous crust, beautiful, beautiful. Now notice how fast I'm cutting here. Be careful when you're working this quickly. You don't want to hurt yourself. All right, so the last step, if you want to do this, you don't have to, but you can, is you can take it, throw it right down on the hot grill, and sear it again. All right, this, this cooled down a little bit, but you'll see in just a minute here, we'll get a nice sear on that side. We'll show you what it's like when it's done. Now, don't those look beautiful? As you can tell, we didn't want to give them an oversear. We don't want to cook it through. We just want to give the outside of the meat just a little color. Okay, well, this is our elk. Let's see what we, I've never had it before, so I'm very curious to see. We did a little sear on it on each side of it, so it's super tender. Here it goes. Oh, it's really good. Oh crap. Oh, I mean. <laughs> oh, it's really good. Um, if you've never tried elk, I would absolutely recommend it. It's delicious. It's really lean. It's tender. It's tasty as can be. I think that butter that we put on it was a really good idea. So if you like what you saw here, please hit subscribe, like the video, Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Good, bad, indifferent. I don't care. Either way, thanks for tuning in. Check out my Instagram, CaptainRon302. I appreciate you all, and we'll see you next time. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget, please like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my Instagram, CaptainRon302.